Hello, and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to continue to explore the gameplay of The Tenants. So let's dive in. In our last episode, we had purchased a gift for our new tenant, Tilly, to try to get her approval rating of us up a bit. But it seems that Tilly has gone off to work and the person who is bringing the gift is at the door and nobody is here to receive the gift. We also had one of our tenants call us and request a renovation for his bedroom because he's getting into sports. But our personal cash is down to $3,195 and our bank loan, we have to pay $20,970 every month that it's due. We're going to have to wait a bit to renovate this individual's bedroom. We got a point for our skill tree. We could unlock a 12-month lease. We could unlock movies on DVDs of action movies, comedy movies, horror movies, mystery of the Karakan twins movie. We're gonna unlock the 12 month lease option. We only have $3,195 personal cash. We are gonna have to get a job. So let's look for a job. We're gonna try to find the highest paying job. The highest paying job is $8,600 payout for Declan Ponce at Avenue 608. Looking for a designer to do a total makeover of our apartment so that it fits our needs. Requirements, total makeover, budget $14,000. $900. Let's accept that job and head on over to Wilson Avenue 608. Here we are at Wilson Avenue 608. This looks totally different than when I was here yesterday. Let's begin cleaning. Okay, Uncle Steve, let's clean these puddles and clean up this pile of trash. Yeah, this looks entirely different than when I was here yesterday renovating. I did this whole kitchen. Looks like he gutted the place and moved out. Okay, Uncle Steve, you can head on out. John Wagner sent us money for the period and Ilsa says, my heater stopped working and I'm literally starting to freeze here. Could you do something about it? Yeah, I'll send in a pro. Let's begin renovating these spacious apartments. Thanks, now I can walk around my apartment without a scarf. Looks like Tilly got her present. It's my birthday today? No, it's not. You're just a nice person. So Tilly really liked her classic book that we sent her. I'm gonna demolish this stuff because I can't even think straight. I am going to do the bathroom here. I want a hallway and I will do the kitchen right here. Megan Archer sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Megan. I'll put the doors there. They dislike simple. So we're just going to do the cottage doors on all of these rooms. We're going to start off with the bathroom. They want laminate floors. They want us to focus on the floors. They don't want simple floors. We'll do darkness in here. We'll do these blue stars in here. They want a shower cabin, posh and modern. We're going to have to do it this way. And a block in the window. Agnes Gentry sent us money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. We need a toilet. We cannot jam toilets into that tiny little space. Give them a temporary toilet. We're giving the pigeon toilet. We'll put the pigeon toilet right there. They want a bathroom sink. We will give them a fancy sink. It's contemporary. We'll put that right there. They want a toilet brush. We will give them a modern toilet brush. We'll put it right near the sink. They want toilet paper. We're going to give them a rustic toilet paper. We're going to put it near the toilet. We're going to do towel rack. They do not want simple. We're going to do a contemporary towel rack. Can we put it right over the toilet paper? We can put it right there. It's not blocking anything. They want a mirror. Let me give them this modern mirror right here. They want a wall clock in the bathroom. We'll put this classical wall clock in the bathroom. Ellie just sent all of my overdue money. Good girl, Ellie. I'm gonna move the mirror over here. When they get out of the shower, they can look at themselves. In I'm gonna give them this LED lamp over the sink and we are done in the bathroom let's go off to the bedroom we'll do ash planks in here they want red or gray walls let's do some modern gray walls in. i'm gonna give them this coastal bed the single bed i'm gonna put it right in the middle of the room they want a wardrobe I'm not gonna do anything super fancy i'm gonna do this earthen wardrobe we'll penelope who sent me money for the period thank you penelope we'll do a ziggy zaggy shelf over here i'm gonna do this modern cozy lamp right here in this corner they want a rug we will do a modern cozy rug. They want books. Put these books on their bookcase. What motivational posters we have? We don't have any new motivational posters. We will do... You are breathtaking. So let's look at some plants. Aloe vera plant. We'll put the bamboo plant in right here. But, uh, we need another wall plant. We can put this uh, wall plant in the bathroom. Right there. And we need wall decor and small decorations. Small decoration in here. This one's provided by the client. We will put this little chest up on top of the 
empty bookcase. Put this little puzzle thing right there on their shelf. Let's go off to the kitchen. We need hardwood floors in the kitchen. We don't want simple. I'm gonna put these hardwood planks in the kitchen. They want brown walls. Let's do this vintage brown win here in the kitchen. We'll do the kitchen on this wall. They want a fridge. We'll do this fridge right here. Agnes Gentry says, believe it or not, but I got a bunch of roaches roaming around the apartment. What the heck? I could really use some assistance, boss. These ones look quite nasty. Yes, I'll send my uncle in right away. Oh my goodness, I am so surprised. This is the place that they dump all their garbage on the floor. No wonder you have roaches. Always having roaches in this flat. There's only one pile of trash and not the seven that I had a moment ago. Okay, Uncle Steve, you're doing a great job. Uncle Steve, you just move in this flat. You're in here all the time, cleaning up their trash. Uncle Steve, go over here, because they just came to be running over around in this corner. Omar Hopkins sent us money for the period. Thank you, Omar. Agnes Gentry says, thanks for helping me solve that problem. Don't worry, Uncle Steve, you'll be back in a moment. Uncle Steve, come back in here and clean this pile of trash up. Let's go back to renovating. We're on the kitchen of this large spacious flat. So we put in the refrigerator. I wonder if I can do a var color variant. I can. A black one. Put the sink right here. Do we want a kitchen cabinet? We'll use the cocoa modern counter. We need one more kitchen cabinet. I'm just gonna tighten this up a bit. I'm gonna move the cooker right next to the counter. I'll use this fancy kitchen hood. Ilsa Hopkins sent us money for the period. Thank you, Ilsa. They want a lamp. Use this one and this one. These have color variants? They do. It's nasty. They want a blender. I wonder if the blender has a color variant. Blender does not have a color variant. It only comes in white. We've done the required items in the kitchen. We have to go off to the hallway. The hallway wants stone floors. We'll do a $45 slate floor in the hallway. We want yellow in the hallway. We can do a golden yellow in the hallway. We get a shoe stand. We get the $50 shoe stand. It's too close to the front door. That doesn't make any sense. Put the Zen coat rack over here. It won't let us. Why won't you let us? Let us put this coat rack on the wall? Oh, you will. We need an umbrella rack. John Wagner sent us money for the period. Thank you, John. Okay, I'll put the umbrella rack near the coat rack. You need a mirror. So, you know, when you're running out the door, you want to look in the mirror. Put the mirror right over the shoe rack. We have all the required items in the hallway. I think we just needed wall decor. I could easily put bumps in here. Look there. Chimes in here. So we're looking at 30%, 82%. We seriously got to do something in this hallway. The bedroom's all right. Let's put more plants in this room. All the plants. Agnes sent me money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. This one in the hallway over here. I'll put this one in the hallway over here. Bailey sent me overdue money that I didn't know he owed me. Thank you, Bailey. We're up to 98%. We're up to 52% in the hallway. Ooh, earthquake. It's great, you know, I love that you're doing an earthquake, but could you stop so I could actually click on my items? John Wagner says, you gotta help me during the recent earthquake. A few walls got damaged and I don't know what to do. Okay, I'll send in a pro for you. Omar's upset with me, so we'll send in Uncle Steve over there. Hey, Uncle Steve, would you repair these walls? We're gonna send uh, Uncle Steve in to repair the damaged walls in Bailey Rowland's flat. His place is pretty much a sty too. Bailey Rowland says, this went smoothly, thanks for the quick reaction. And Omar Hopkins said, oh boy, I thought I was gonna die in there for a second, thank you. We're gonna send uh, Uncle Steve over to Ellie Callahan's as well. I thought we sent a pro in, but we did not. So I almost missed it and she almost cussed me out. But I was able to catch it in time and we are able to repair her walls. And then I gotta get back over to the renovation so we can make money before that bank loan comes due. All of my tenants are living in squalor and filth. At least this is only one pile, but, but Uncle Steve is literally just here. Okay, let's get back to that renovating. I'm just looking to fix the core in the hallway. We're at 44% in the hallway. We have an ancient bird in the hallway. I will put this classic clock in here. I'm going to put a bamboo wall plant in here on this side. So we get a lot of plants in here now. We're at 83%. $536 remaining. Tilly Chapman sent me the overdue money. Thank you, Tilly. I'm okay with that, Tilly. You're, you're fine. Don't, don't be upset. Yeah, we'll do the stone. Hundred in the bathroom, one hundred in the kitchen, one hundred in the bedroom, and any seven in the hallway. I'm going to deliver the job. The person who hired us is coming into the bedroom and they are looking at the wall decor. They love the wall decor. She's looking at the aloe vera plant in the corner and she just loves the aloe vera plant. She's looking at the sink in the kitchen and she's not sure about my choice in sinks. She's going into the bathroom and she is rating 
the overall design of the flat and she loves it let's take a look at our review Declan Ponce Wilson Avenue 608 five stars I thought only my brother-in-law could do such miracles with a putty knife and a paint roller I couldn't believe my eyes some extra cash for extra work quiet furnishings five stars cheap furnishings were used category was ignored preferred furnishing five stars no issues floors five stars no issues walls five stars no issues decor five stars no issues first impression five stars no issues the tags five stars no issues we follow the, the job description to a T we did not put simple items in there so we got five stars the bonus was one thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars the total payout for that job was ten thousand three hundred and twenty dollars Agnes Gentry says hey would it be okay for me to paint the walls and give this place a fresh look or maybe get some new floor panels why not choose the design and I'll cover the cost four hundred dollars we have to do negotiations with Passaic Street. Let's head on over there. Let's clean up this flat. Oh, we can't. Let's negotiate our lease extension with Agnes Gentry. She's really happy with us. Let's try 120 days with Agnes. Let's try to get $3,160 out of here. Let's make an offer. This is way too much. $2,168. Let's do $3,070. We'll make that offer. This is $2,168. Okay, she must be fixated on that. $2,900. And eighty, make an offer. Two thousand one hundred and seventy-three. Sure, I'll accept your current offer. I'm really hesitant to do this Ferry Street makeover, but yeah, let's get in there and begin cleaning. We'll send Uncle Steve out, and we can start renovating really quickly. This gentleman wants to get into sports. This appears to be the room that we're renovating. He wants hardwood floors in here. I'm gonna give him these basic hardwood floors. I'm gonna sell all of his stuff. We don't need these lights. I'm gonna move these lights into this gentleman's room. There you go. You want a tread? Mill. We'll give him a treadmill. We will give him a motivational poster. Work hard. We'll give him dumbbells. I'll put him on the side of his bed. And he wants a trophy. I will put it right next to his work hard so he can work hard and be motivated. We are done that renovation job for our tenant. Ugh, can we revert it back to how it used to be? No. Let's take a look to see if our tenants are paying their rent. Omar Hopkins is not paying his rent. Let's remind him politely. Penelope Wu has not paid her rent. Let's remind her politely. We can't have our people slacking because we need to make more money in order to pay that bank loan. John Wagner, you need to pay your rent. Megan Archer just sent me the money for the period. Thank you, Megan. Let's take a look at my tenant's happiness. Megan Archer is happy to 64. So things are improving a little bit. Tilly Chapman is still unhappy. I don't know what to do with you, Tilly. What do we do with you? Tilly, oh my goodness. Can we get in this place and begin cleaning? That appears to be all. Penelope Wu says, I'm so sorry, I'll get to it right away. John Wagner says, sorry, got no money. I'm sorry, John. Let's see what we can do for Tilly. I'm gonna give you a book again. Agnes just sent us the money for the period. Thank you, Agnes. Okay, I just demanded payment of John. John says, sorry, he's got no money. So even though I demanded payment of him, he has no money. Tilly is waiting for her gift. Here's Tilly's gift of a classic book. Is it my birthday today? No, it's not. You're just a nice person. So she's got a new book. She's pretty happy. Let's check out her approval rating of us. She's up to 50% from 47%. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.